Well, the final race of day one then will be the Bath Maiden Stakes, or the Bath Maiden Stakes, depending on where you come from. It's a 10 furlong, 3 odds and upwards event. Classic steps at the top for Obi Wan, Haddock and Chips, Matt Cooper, Hope Swell, Dan Hughes, Kishanda, F Box, Pixie Cut, Martin Needham, Safe Topsy, Graham Clutterbuck, Teasel Jenks, Padraig Hogan, Waterland Gale, Paul Fix, Yonkers, RG4, Vinnie Gerard, Hadamar, Darren Thompson, Nature Queen, Leon Van Rensburg, and Pilka Mayo Help. Was the bottom one. The rain is coming down. Come out, I hope, was Derek Hinton. They're away and racing. A little bit slow to go. Classic steps in the yellow jacket. He's already made up for that slow start. And it's Pixie Cut in the purple and white stripes pulling for a head who's now been overtaken by the other purple jacketed horse of Water Than Gale. And now Classic Steps, who was slowly away, has moved through to join that one to dispute the lead. So it's Waterland Gale on the inside of Classic Steps. Those two are about three lengths clear of Pixie Cut in third. Pilka Mayo Help is in fourth. Then Haddock and Chips on the outside for Matt Cooper. With on that one's inside Hope Swell. Safe Topsy behind them. And also just hidden Hadamar. The green jacket of Yonkers Argy. We can now see more clearly as we switch to the inside view so six furlongs still to go then and waterland gale has got the lead by about a nick to classic steps in second gap of four lengths then to pilka mayo help then comes pixie cut and hope swell with safe tops again hadamar yonkers RG on the inside following that one is teasel jenks wide on the track haddock and chips in the back two are kishanda and nature queen at the back for leon van rensburg as they start the turn towards home and Waterland Gale being kept up to its work leads by three quarters of a length. Two classic steps in second. Pixie Cut is third and then Pilka Mayo Help is four. Hopes one is five. Come with a run now. Hadamar is starting to make a forward move as well, but it's Waterland Gale continues to lead with three to go. From Pixie Cut in second. Classic steps now sweeping around the outside. Hope Swell's come through to challenge for the lead. It's Waterland Gale sticking on nicely in the lead though. Pilka Mayo Help comes with a second run. Then Yonkers Argy and Hadamar trying to come round on the outside, Pilka Mayo Help hits the front, but here comes Yonkers Argy, and Yonkers Argy sweeps into the lead, then from Pilka Mayo Help as they come down towards the final furlong, and Yonkers Argy for Vinnie Gerard again goes two, three, four, five, six lengths clear, and is absolutely trancing these at the moment, and it's Yonkers Argy who's racing up towards line to win this most comfortably from a distant Hadamar back in second, then came Nature Queen Hopes, well Pixie cuts after that one, and all the way back to Haddock and Chips. And that is the most impressive performance that I've seen so far today. And you can gauge it as well, really, because Pixie Cut, that's finished about fifth or fourth. No, fifth. Pixie Cut was around, was around last season and didn't run too badly without winning. So there'll be a bit of an idea as to maybe how good that one is. But it looks like Yonkers Argy is probably going to be a force to be reckoned with. The going, though, it's worth looking at. He's heavy with all that goes nicely on the firm come Royal Ascot time. We want to bath easily today, though. We often get heavy going at bath. But anyway, Yonkers Argy was the winner for Vinnie Gerrard. With Hadamar second for Darren Thompson, Nature Queen for Leon Van Rensburg third, Hope Swell or Dan Hughes fourth. And that one was back from last season. Well, look, that was rated 114, so you can tell just how good that Yonkers Argy is. And maybe Pixie Cut, it was only rated 64, has improved on a step up from three to four as well.